Greetings, viewers! I come before you today as a representative and member of Hattori Hanzo and the Ninjas, wherein I am known as Satori, the Soul Seer. We, Hattori Hanzo and the Ninjas, make our home in Nagoya, Japan, where we practice and perform ninjutsu, the ways of the ninja. Today, I would like to teach you the meaning and the origins behind the word ninja. However, were you aware that the actual word for a ninja is not ninja? Indeed, what do I mean by this? That in our golden days of Japan's Sengoku time period, we ninja were actually referred to as shinobi. But in order to understand the origins of these words, and why this shinobi turned into ninja, let us first take a moment to sneak in some study of the Japanese language. The Japanese language contains thousands of different kanji characters originally taken from the Chinese language. Each character has its own specific meaning. As you can see here, some of the kanji characters are simple, but if you combine the different shapes together, you can make kanji that are more complex. For example, here we have the kanji character that means sword. However, Add a small line here, and the meaning is slightly changed from sword to blade. And here we have the kanji character that means heart or mind. Now, when we take these two shapes and put them together, we get an entirely new kanji character with its own meaning. In order to do this, we take the blade shape and place it over the heart shape, and the heart shape is slightly altered, and this helps us to understand that this new character is actually a single kanji character with its own meaning. Would any of you like to take a guess as to how to read and pronounce this kanji character? If your guess is ninja, you'd be wrong! If you guessed shinobi, on the other hand, you'd be correct. Now, have you any guesses as to why this blade and the heart were chosen to represent the idea of a ninja, or rather a shinobi. Some would say it is because a shinobi lies in wait out of sight, with his blade ready to pierce the heart of his foe. Another interpretation is that a shinobi is trained to endure all things and carry out our missions, even despite great pain and hardship. We must have the discipline to continue striving towards our goals, even with a blade stuck in our heart. Figuratively. Not too far off from this blade in the heart interpretation is the original interpretation from the ancient ninja texts, which say that the shinobi must temper his mind and heart like a blade to be his most powerful weapon and tool. So then how did this word ninja come about? Are you ready for more kanji? Shinobi were also often referred to as Shinobi no mono. Shinobi means something along the lines of stealth, hiding, enduring, or lying in wait. No means of, and mono means person or type of person. Stealth of person? Come again? In Japanese grammar, the order of things is often the reverse of what we are used to with the English language. Therefore, Rather than stealth of person, we should translate this to person of stealth, or person who endures, or person who hides in wait. Sounds to me an awful lot like a ninja. But again, just where did this word ninja come from? This is where it gets a bit complicated. So pay attention! A single kanji character can have numerous different meanings and readings. The most important factor that determines a kanji character's reading is whether that kanji stands alone or whether it is paired with another kanji to make a different word. Take this kanji for example. By itself, it is pronounced hai, not hai, not hai, he. It is pronounced he, and it means day. However, when you pair it with this other kanji, we get the word kyujitsu, which means a day of rest or a day off. Now, when we pair these kanji together, the reading of this single kanji goes from he to jitsu because it is paired with another kanji to make 
a single word, kyujitsu. In Japanese, there are many different words, single words, that are made up of two different kanji. For example, take the word that most of you likely know, sushi. Sushi, as you know, is a delicious food made up of fresh fish that tastes even better when you're in Japan eating it at an authentic Japanese restaurant. Come to Japan! Sushi, as you know, is a single word. However, in Japanese, it can be written with two kanji characters. This kanji is read as su, and this kanji is read as shi. But when a Japanese person sees these two kanji together, they recognize it as the single word sushi. What does all of this have to do with the word ninja? This shinobi no mono was sometimes abbreviated and written simply with these two kanji characters, leaving out the less important no. And therefore, they could appear as a single word made up of two kanji characters. And as we just discussed, when a kanji bends with another kanji to create a single word, the pronunciation and reading changes. See where I'm going with this? Another possible reading for this shinobi kanji was nin. And another possible reading for this mono kanji character was just a minute. I bet you think I'm going to say ja, don't you? Well, you better stay on your toes. Sha is the most common other reading for this kanji. However, when it is paired with this nin, as a rare case, it is pronounced as ja. And thus, this shinobi no mono could indeed be shortened and read as ninja. But you see, true shinobi were mostly carrying out their missions in secret during the Sengoku period of Japan's history. And it was in the following years of the 17th and 18th century that they became more widely known by the general public. This was thanks to being portrayed in the likes of theatrical productions and novels. And of course, as you might expect, the expression that was favored throughout time was not this shinobi no mono, but rather ninja. And there you have it, dear viewers, the origins and meaning behind the word ninja. If you enjoyed this video, do tune in next time. Perhaps we'll take a look at a shinobi's most important weapon and tool his mind and his heart. Or perhaps we'll look at his other most important tool, the kunai knife. And if you'd like to get more acquainted with the other members of Hattori Hanzo and the Ninjas, do tune in to our other content and look at all of our other social media platforms. I'd recommend our Instagram if you like cool pictures and videos. And subscribe and follow to keep an eye on those sneaky shinobi. And with that, Dear viewers, I bid you many thanks and farewell. Doro!